starting on time and I'm two minutes late. So where's my assistant? Okay. What a great sight to behold. Thank you everyone for coming out and supporting us. All right, officially good morning and welcome to the official grand opening and ribbon cutting ceremony for Cedar Band Travel Plaza. I'm Paul Terry, president and CEO of Cedar Band Corporation. Firstly, I hope you're all staying safe, healthy, and well throughout these pandemically unprecedented times. We'll get through this together. I extend a warm on what I think will be a very hot spring morning and special welcome to our distinguished guests, including our elected officials, friends, neighbors, community members, colleagues and partners of Cedar Band Corporation, Cedar Band Travel Plaza and the Cedar Band of Paiutes. And I've met some of our actual neighbors already this morning who are so pleased that they only have to drive a minute for gas, for coffee, for breakfast, for Scooby snacks versus 16 to 20 minutes round trip. All right, before I announce the remainder of our agenda for today's grand opening and ribbon cutting ceremony, we have asked Ralph Pete one of our cherished Cedar Band of Paiutes elders to offer the invocation over these ceremonies. I saw Ralph earlier. Ralph, thank you. First of all, I'd just like to thank uh, the uh, Cedar Band Council for asking me to say the prayer. And, and here goes. <laughs> um, Father in heaven, as we come here today, uh, as we all gather here today for the opening of this new gas station, and Father, I ask you to bless everyone here and watch over us as we go home uh, later on today. May our trip back home will be a safe one. Grandfather, I ask that you bless the elders today all over the world. Bless all the children of the world. Watch over them, Grandfather. Grandfather, we ask that you bless the ones that are ill today, that they may get well soon, Grandfather. Especially those that have the coronavirus, Grandfather. May your healing hands upon them. Grandfather, we ask you to bless all the leaders of the world that they may do the right things for their people, Grandfather. And bless all the tribal chairmen of their tribes, Grandfather, of all Native nations, Grandfather. Grandfather, I ask that you bless my family today and my, my grandchildren today. You bless the water, the food that we partake of, Grandfather, today, Grandfather. And with this, I thank you, Grandfather, for all the many blessings that you've given us, Grandfather. And I say this prayer humbly in the name of my Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Thank you, Ralph, for that heartfelt and thoughtful prayer. <clears throat> All right, the agenda will continue as follows. And again, the goal here is to be done in relatively quick time. My wife, my much better half of 30 years, always reminds me how long the groundbreaking ceremony went. She said, we don't want another groundbreaking ceremony length. We want it to be short, so I, I thank her 
whispered her words of wisdom. Robert Pete Sr. will share with us the sacred process of and his thoughts in regards to his dedicatory blessing, which he offered over the four corners of the interior and exterior of the store earlier this morning at just about um, sunrise or the sun was just coming over the East Mountains. It was absolutely beautiful. Again, that was done out of the view of any media, including video and audio recordings. Following, following Robert's comments, the Cedar Band of Paiutes Band Council Chairwoman, Delise Tom, will offer a few remarks. After Chairwoman Tom's remarks, Cedar Band Corporation Board of Directors Chairman Jerry Van Iwarden will share a few remarks, followed by Cedar Band Travel Plaza General Manager Darren Humphreys' remarks. At the conclusion of Darren's remarks, I will offer a few words. Emphasize few. <laughs> they all know. Okay, Robert. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. morning. Um, this morning, um, I had the opportunity to come here and do a blessing on this. Uh, beautiful beautiful story that we have here and like paul said you know we gotta keep good with our neighbors and 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 i told people here that were here this morning that i would like to see them uh, when they come into that front door with the make sure they have a smiling face on their face and make sure they're welcome uh, as they come through that front door uh, this morning i <clears throat> gathered them together and did an offering for the ground and for the store and for the four corners of the store um if some of you don't know the east of us is sacred to us when the sun comes up in the morning to get our day started off right um uh, and and for us and for me we have um, an eagle's nest that sits up there in the mountain and and they're the ones that are watching over us every day. And so, again, uh, that was my blessing today to, to get over this um, epidemic that we're having and, and to uh, watch one another um, as the day progresses, not just today, but every day. Um, with that, I would like to just say, you know, take care of yourself watch out watch your families make sure that everything's okay we don't want to see anybody um, get hurt or sick um, um, we're going through a lot not in this country but all over the world um, you know i always like to quote forrest gump you know um, life is like a box of chocolate you never know what you're going to get and that's what that's what, as, as uh, Native people and non-Native people, you know, we wake up every morning and we don't know what it's going to be like. And so we just will have to deal with it. And so that's what we, that's what I want to see is we're just going to deal with what's in front of us um, and we'll take care of it. And so with that, that um, I'm going to close now and thank all of you again for being here. Thank you. Oh. Welcome, everybody. What do you think about this place? Oh, it's Woo! beautiful. I love it. Every day I drive by here, I watch from the time they dig this road and dig the grounds on one brick to the other brick, to the pavement, and everything, every day, and I'm like, it's coming true. Our dream came true, it's coming true, Cedar Band members. What do you think? It's nice, huh? Woo! I wanna thank everybody for coming. This has been a dream. We did it. Our past council members, they work hard. 
to put this together. I want to thank them dearly from the bottom of my heart. If it wasn't for them, we wouldn't have this place. If it wasn't for a dream that one of our elders had many, many years ago, it came true. Today is coming true. And I'm loving it. My grandkids are loving it. They don't have to ride their four-wheelers over there anymore. They can just walk just around the corner. My house is just around the corner and I can't wait to start having them walk over and be safe and not go beyond the roads. I want to thank everybody, the corporation, for putting this up together. The hardworking employees breaking their backs, carrying boxes, equipment, setting up. You guys did an awesome job. We did a teamwork this morning. I was out there with the, the workers, out there getting those flags in. Because I'm proud to have this place here as our own, as our own Cedar Bend uh, place. Like Paul said, I don't have to go all in the town anymore <laughs> and come back down. I can just go here and go down. Now. I've let, I spent all well, spent less money, and I know our neighbors north, south, east of us, west of us that live in our neighborhoods. I bet they're happy to see this. Every day I drive by here and I see cars. RVs, trucks coming through here and my eyes just tear up seeing this place. I want to thank you all for coming out here and enjoy this moment and for the young kids that's coming up in the world that's going to take over when we're gone and see that this place. Very good. Thank you all. Enjoy your day. Be safe, like everybody said. And have a good day. Thank you. Whenever you do a project like this, there's always the opportunity for strife or there's the opportunity for unity. And one of the things that we've discovered during this time with a great team, uh, including the designers from Jones and DeMille, and including the band council, as well as the uh, Cedar Band Corporation uh, administrative team under Paul Terry. Uh, this has been a great project from beginning to end. Uh, I really need to commend Paul for the arrangement of the finances and the administration of that so that we could fund it. And so I also wanna thank Darren Humphreys and uh, Darren has been a delight to work with and has really taken a lead role in the construction of this and the oversight of it. So it's with that type of unity that whenever you get it together, the project is good and a success. And I see the sheriff's over there ready to arrest Darren now. Could you wait till it's <laughs> over, Ken? Yeah, but anyway, so I, I really, I can't minimize the importance of having Darren and Paul both and uh, the three of us functioning as a team to get this done. So thank you. And as soon as the door is open, spend and spend big. <laughs> and if you don't have it, just reach in your neighbor's pocket or wallet and spend like you always wanted to. Thank you. First of all, thank you for everybody for coming down today and, and sharing this special occasion with us. Um, there's way too many people to thank, so I don't want to start and miss somebody, but I hope everybody knows who they are. And I'd like to extend a special thank you to my staff. <clears throat> they put up with me for the last couple of weeks and it hasn't been easy. So thank you to my staff. Other than that, thanks to Paul, the executive team. I've asked a lot of them and also with Jerry. Thank you guys very much, I appreciate it. And 
And what's that? Good job. Thank you. And Ken's not really here to arrest me, but <laughs> if need be, I guess we can do that too. <laughs> so thank you everybody for coming and enjoy your day. So there's there's no tribal chair, but our tribal council representative, Tasha. It's not Mayo. It is Mayo. Oh, it's Mayo. Okay. Okay, Tasha Mayo. Thank you for being here as well. Um. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll recognize um. Darren is a hard nut to crack, but when you crack that hard exterior. He's got a heart of gold. He does. And his team members, I think, are the ones who are able to crack that hard exterior. And Darren, and we love him to pieces. I think Bonneville builders or general contractors hated him to pieces in the very beginning of this project. <laughs> now I think they're part of the team and they love him to pieces as well for what he was able to do for Bonneville as well as a real on-site, not just as our general manager, but as our construction manager and project manager and, and everything else that he did to make this a real possibility. Okay, um, again, trying to keep it as, as short as I possibly can. I want to share with you a word that I've repeatedly used throughout the design bid build of Cedar Van Travel Plaza. And, and no, it's not the four letter word many of you may be thinking of, <laughs> Although I've had plenty of occasions during construction to have justifiably used such word. A word that our design build team has heard me repeat ad nauseum during nearly every preliminary design, architectural, and engineering meeting. And perhaps during every OAC, the owner architect contractor meeting throughout the various build stages of the travel plaza that almost now sacred word is legacy. The dictionary, Merriam-Webster defines legacy as quote, something transmitted by or acquired from an ancestor or a predecessor or from the past, from an earlier time, technology or business. Close quote. From one year and one month ago on Monday, May 13th, 2019, and many of you stood here with us on that exact date when we officially broke ground on this site and for this travel plaza, the word legacy has been a constant utterance and our corporate philosophy and mantra, as well as a guidepost throughout the construction of Cedar Band Travel Plaza. This building and this site will continue to be a guidepost for travelers as it provides a respite from where he travels and as it refuels, refreshes, and replenishes daily commuters, long haul truckers, weekend getaway couples, and vacationing families, especially as we are strategically situated at the crossroads of I-15 and the 5700 West Industrial Belt Route. Our corporate mantra and mission statements at Cedar Band Corporation is that we build legacy companies. From our very public sector defense and government contracting companies and Carla, who is president of Seducing Staffing Services, our newest SBA 8A company. This is our fourth 8A company We've been doing defense contracting for nearly two decades, since 2002, 2003. 
Um, and we're sitting on a $58.5 million award with GSA at the AFSINT for the Air Force of Central Command in Shaw, and we're having issues right now with our banker, with our partners. But ultimately, as I shared on the call with them, we build legacy companies. Our name and our reputation is far more important than 58, 60 million, or $100 million in contracts. So we will do it right, or we won't do it at all. So from our public sector companies to now to our private sector companies, including and especially Cedar Band Travel Plaza. From the cradle to grave design and construction of Cedar Band Travel Plaza, I asked our architects, engineers, and our general contractor and subs to design and build us a travel plaza that accentuated the picturesque beauty of our environs in Cedar City and in southwestern Utah. A plaza that will outlast all of our professional careers and our earthly lifetimes. And a plaza that will withstand the test of time, pressure, and heat, and even the Cedar City winds, which are the same elements that turn carbon into diamonds and to last for multiple generations to follow which those generations will now only will not only walk in our footsteps but will enlarge and enhance both our footprints and what we have created here welcome to our diamond in the rough thank you All right, just by way of a special acknowledgement to distinguished guests, we have some gifts that we would like to share. Um, some very beautiful Pendleton blankets. They have the logo of Cedar Band Travel Plaza on them. So if I call your name and if you're here, will you just please come up and stand before the tables? Chairwoman Delise Tom. Vice Chairwoman Laurel Yellowhorse, Councilman Robert Pete Sr., Councilwoman, Councilman Jackson Zook, <laughs> Bo, and Secretary Betty Kutch. From the Paiute Indian Tribe of Utah Tribal Council and Tribal Administrator's Office, Tamara Borshart Slayton, Tribal Chairwoman, I don't think I saw her. Tosh, will you join us up here? Thank you. So, you see, you can't say no, because I said thank you already. <laughs> Shane Parishon's Tribal Administrator and Tyler Prisbury, Tribal CFO. They're slowly making their way up. Come on up, guys. From the Iron County Commission, Commissioners Alma Adams, Mike Bleak, and Paul Cousins. If you're here, if you hear your name, Please come on up. From the Cedar City Mayoral Office and City Council, the Honorable Mayor Miley Wilson Edwards, City Council members Ron Adams, Paul Cousins, Terry Hartley, Craig Isom, and R. Scott Phillips. I saw Craig. I'm not sure if I saw Terry. Oh, and Tyler Melling. This all transpired ever since our. Is, is Tyler here, Craig, do you know? I didn't see him, okay. From the Cedar City Corporation, Danny Stewart, Economic Development Director. He's been a big partner of ours at Cedar Band Corporation. Thanks, Danny, for being here. From the Cedar City Chamber of Commerce, Chris McCormick, President and CEO. Thanks, Chris, for being here. From the Cedar Band Corporation Board of Directors, Chairman Gerald Van Iwarden, and Board Directors, Xavier Garcia, Kelly. Zave was walking the opposite way. Come on up this way, Zave. Uh, Kelly Bobby Rouser, as we affectionately refer to him, Browser. Um, Abigail Wall and Laurel Yellowhorse, who, who is dual-hatted. She sits on our board 
and on the band council. Thank you, Laurel, for all of your service. From the Cedar Band Corporation Executive Management Team, Darren Humphreys, GM of Cedar Band Travel Plaza, and still Cedar Band Trading Post for the time being at least. Mark Brunson, CFO, Ian Jacome, controller, Bobby Rouser, who's already up here, president of Seducting Technologies and VP. He's dual hatted as well. He sits on my executive team and on the board of directors. Thank you, Bobby. And also VP of Special Projects. Bobby, he's got lots of hats. <laughs> um, Carla Sanchez, president of Seducting Staffing Services. She's already here. Bill Tudor, executive vice president of CBC Bevco. He's up in Montana. Justin Wayman, HR manager, and Jessica McCoy. I don't know if this title works, Executive Administrative Assistant. Like she's just everything. She's my right hand, my left hand, my right leg, my left leg, my brain as well. Thank you, Jess. From our outside legal counsel, Mark Echohawk of Echohawk and Olson. Not sure if I saw Mark yet this morning. From our construction and project management teams of Bonneville Builders, Nasbot Technologies, and Jones and DeMille Engineering, Kendrick Thomas, Structural and Project Manager, Dan McGuire, Project Engineer, Tyler Johnson, Project and Construction Manager, Mike Talbot, Construction Superintendent, and Brian Cummins, Construction Engineer. From our Building Inspector, Jason McElpring, and lastly, but definitely not least, the reason why we're all standing here today, from Jenkins Oil, our fuel jobbers, Eric Jenkins and Mike Jenkins. Come on up, guys. Thank you. Okay, we have uh, Pendleton blankets. I will ask Jess and I will ask Carla if you'll start handing those out to, to everyone. Um, they're, they're not designated outside of uh, a few perhaps. So we will just hand them out. We hope you love them. Uh, it's just, it's a small token of our appreciation for everything that you've done, that you are doing and that you will continue to do for Cedar Band Corporation for Cedar Band Travel Pl Plaza and for the Cedar Band of Paiutes as friends, neighbors, and colleagues. Thank you. Okay, um, while they are doing that, the closing prayer. See, we're here already, believe it or not. Is, is that is that record-breaking time, sweetie? Yeah, All right. good job. Closing prayer. Woodrow Pete, another one of our cherished Cedar Band of Paiutes elders will offer the benediction over the grand opening and the ribbon cutting ceremony. Um, after conclusion of this portion of the ceremony, we will be honored to enjoy the drum sounds of Jeremy and Tyler Garcia's Cold Creek Junior Drum Group. See it back there. I'm sure you saw them in a circle. Our very talented team group, drum group from the Cedar Band of Paiutes. They are our band members. We're so grateful for them and, and for their willingness to share their talents with us this morning. Okay. Um, so, Woodrow, where's, where's Woodrow? Woodrow, come on up. And if you will offer the closing prayer, I've got just a, a, a few remarks after that. And we have a special presentation by Daniel Growler also a member of the Cedar Band of Paiutes. We have about four pieces of his artwork hanging in our corporate offices in Cedar City. Absolutely beautiful. I've got one in my home office. Uh, that's how beautiful they are. He has a special presentation to the store. And so Darren, stay up here with us once all is said and done. And then Tyler Johnson from Bonneville Builders. If you'll come up as well, if you're not still up here, Tyler's uh, back there. Um, he's got a special presentation for the store and for the uh, general contractors. So thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Woodrow. Heavenly Father, and we come to the close of this ceremony for the opening of our Cedar Band printing board. We want to thank for all the attention that we're giving. And now that we're we may travel home in safety. 
Okay, Daniel Greller, will you make your way up here? I think he's going back to his car to get the the uh, presentation that he will uh, present to, to the Travel Plaza. And then, uh, so Tyler, if you'll hang tight. I'm sorry, Tyler Johnson, lots of Tylers. If you'll hang tight. And then Darren, if you'll join us as well. I'm gonna turn some time over to Daniel our very good friend who visits us all the time in the office. He's a regular in our office. He's wonderful. We just love and appreciate Daniel. So, Darren, come on up. Design, I design with the uh, colors of lights and uh, different types of uh, Indian design that I do. I'd like to give this to the, the designer who designed the building, this painting here that I did. Oh. Next one. Is, is the is the mayor of Cedar here, the lady? Okay. I was going to give her a one too. <laughs> I'd like to show you this uh, this big design that I'm doing. <clears throat> This, this is a mural for the city of Santa Clara. They wanted a mural for the Indian culture of the Shirwas Reservation and the Pai in the reservation. So I'm doing this on the wall. The wall is big as that right there, that big wall. And there's, there's 12 of them that I'm doing. I'm, I'm halfway there, so I should be done by next Friday. And it's going to be an autograph, and they're making a golden plate for me there for their design. For the city of Santa Clara. So if you ever guys have a chance to come on down, just drive by Santa Clara going going west to the reservation and you'll see me working and you'll see that big wall that I'm doing. Thank you. That's it for our ceremonies. Just, just a final word. Um, we have raffle tickets as well. I'm not sure how, how you're going to get raffles. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Raffle tickets are free. Don't rush up because they're free, but they are free. And then we will do the drawing in about 30 minutes. So 
please come up and get a raffle ticket. We've got stuff from Sinclair Oil, which actually, I'm sorry, my two Sinclair partners, will you just come up really quickly? And, you know, like Darren said, there's too many people to thank. Um, these are our partners from Sinclair Oil, all the way up, all the way up. Yay. What's that? Okay, well, that's incredible. She is going to donate her blanket to Sinclair Oil, and then we will take care of Chairwoman Tom later. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for your partnership and everything. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Also, Chairwoman Tom, appreciate that. All right, so please come up and get a raffle ticket. There's, there's gift cards from um, Sinclair Oil that, that they brought up with them as well. So they're, they're $10 gift cards that can be used at the pump or in the store. And, st oh, starting Monday. Okay, they can't be used today, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. <laughs> okay, there you go. Starting Monday. Okay. And penultimately, before we cut the ribbon and unlock the doors to Cedar Van Travel Plaza, I express my sincerest gratitude to you for attending this morning. And of course, for your unceasing and tireless support Again, of Cedar Band Corporation, Cedar Band Travel Plaza, and the Cedar Band of Paiutes. And finally, there is a beginning, a middle, and an end, like my <laughs> wife always tells me, get to the end. And finally, having saved the very best for last, please join me in a raucous round of applause for our Cedar Band Travel Plaza team members, all of our team members. Woo! All right, let me see if I can finish this off here. And also John Tebbs from, from Bonneville Builders, our contractor who built this beautiful building. Thank you for coming down from Salt Lake for some fresh air yeah. in Southern Utah, <laughs> for less virus, hopefully, in Southern Utah. Thank you for coming down. Hopefully you didn't bring it with you, but thank you for coming down. <laughs> okay. Now, th this really is the last sentence on this thing. Let's cut this ribbon Let's unlock the doors and let's fire up the cash registers. Thank you for coming. <laughs>